<laughs> Are you not listening to me? I can't hear what you're saying. Like, blah, 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 blah. We're talking about toenail polish. Okay. Now, Amanda, let me ask you this. Do you put a ton of clear coat on when you do your toenails because you don't want them to chip? I usually do two coats of clear, yes. Ha! See? What? I'm not arguing with you. <laughs> this is not something you're winning. You were telling me something, and then I didn't care, and I started looking at something else, and then you brought someone else into this conversation. And now you're pretending like you've won some sort of prize. I did win. <laughs> win! Yes, I that knew is it! A win. I knew I was right about what I do to my toes because someone else also does it to their toes. And you know what? Bully for uh, both of you. That is thank top you. notch. You're welcome. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. I was telling Curtis that I put so much clear coat on that then I don't ever want to take it off because okay. it's so it hard to get time. the yes. polish off then. I was telling but her. But yeah, if you go get them done, yeah. they go squirt, squirt, squirt. And it's off. They got the heavy duty stuff. It's industrial. Seriously. You got to go to Sally Beauty Supply. Get yourself one of those vats. <laughs> whoop, whoop, done. You step in, That'd you step so out. It's so good for your feet. Yeah, it's perfect. I need a vat, please. You got cotton balls. It's never the same as when you get them done, though. Your toes are clean. No, because you like looking down and somebody's doing some work on your feet. I get it. It just comes off very quickly when they do it. It doesn't come on, and you're sitting on the floor and you got your foot up in the air. And, right. Because you don't, you got to do it on tile because you don't want to spill it. No. You definitely don't want to spill it. You have no (laughs) idea what it is like to be a woman. Apparently a clumsy woman because, <laughs> like my kids, we just do it on the carpet. Nobody spills anything. Mm. We're teaching them how. That see, that's yeah, the remember problem. Remember when Charlotte painted great, great? What was it? I want to say grape, purple, purple, purple nail polish everywhere. Yes, uh-huh. that was good. That's a lesson. Mm-hmm. Don't do that. Mm-hmm. I had to say to her the other day. So she now is on this kick of like beautifying herself. So she gets out of the shower and she puts on all kinds of makeup, <laughs> but she's taking her shower right before bed. So oh. so she comes out uh, comes down to say goodnight and she has like eyeshadow on and lipstick and her <laughs> rouge and her face is all rouge. Up. everything is going on and it's like what is the deal with you and rouge. you can smell her coming because she has so much perfume on too Aww. so it's like oh oh Charlotte what did you do she does that after she showers yes that is hilarious. <laughs> she showers and puts on all her makeup so is there do you make her take it off again or is her yes. pillow a hot mess no we take it off because if you go to sleep with makeup on your pillow is a hot and mess. now and this really got her okay. now she has to shower with the door open because so you don't want her putting makeup on we need to know what's going on when you get out you dry off you get out of there knock it off don't go through drawers don't be doing anything just did dr- any of the other girls go through that phase no it is the weirdest thing <laughs> but Haley has all this makeup now okay so and charlotte gets into it and just puts it on now does like, Haley get mad that charlotte is using Haley her? doesn't know we don't tell Haley. Oh, okay we keep that from her mm-hmm. we're we're kind of uh we're like the cia in my house mm-hmm. a lot of secrets smart. a lot of secrets a lot of things happen that's that other smart. people don't know what's going on yep, that's that's good plan yeah because we i mean if we we could tell Haley. Mm-hmm. oh yeah yesterday uh, charlotte ruined what? your lipstick <laughs> And choking and down the stairs. <laughs> or we could just not say anything. And then she comes out two weeks later and goes, I'm out of lipstick. Like, okay, well, mow the lawn again so you'll have some money to go buy some. <laughs> but I know so what she happened. ends up having to do work because Charlotte is using yes. all her makeup. Well, okay. So one if, of these things seems unfair. If Charlotte really ruins something, yeah. Charlotte well, will. she would know. Charlotte too. pays for it. Okay. So a couple times she's done, she's ruined some things. Or any of the girls have ruined something of someone else. And then, oh, now you have to buy them Speaking- the new thing. Uh, speaking of makeup, I was just reading this morning that over half of women women would rather have their makeup than their man. Wow. Not me. Well, <laughs> I look to my left here. You know, makeup uh, and Amanda. She used to sell makeup, Amanda did. I did. And yeah. she, college. she can't leave the house without putting makeup on. She needs to be made up. And she's had some uh, hot and cool times with her man. Would so. you rather have your makeup than Mike? <sighs> That's... Well, Difficult. I, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I would choose Mike. <laughs> but to think about having to go the rest of my life without being able to put makeup on my face, and knowing how scary that would be, Mike would probably leave me anyway. He would <gasps> probably. No, he wouldn't. He <laughs> loves you. He doesn't love your makeup. How much do you have on? Like, a lot. Like, what are you covering up? Do is what become, I want to know. You, you can't even tell it's Amanda. <laughs> Seriously. Like, your makeup comes off, and you're like, oh, I'm hideous. Leave me alone. I feel gross, though, when I don't have it on. Okay. okay so then, That's how my mom is, too. I get it. I used to be like that. 
No mas. Now you have no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. No. The day you put on makeup is the day I'm like, damn, who is that over there? <laughs> <laughs> it's you. Okay. <laughs> but every other day it's like, oh. Yeah. Morning radio beat that out of me because yeah. I definitely used to be the girl like in high school and college. I, I was made up every day. Okay. Hair done. Ugh. <laughs> I found hair curling devices that I haven't seen in oh, 10 years. Start when... using them again. <laughs> I should. Yes, bring all that I back. I should, yeah. The I crimping, don't... the straightening. Yeah, the crimper. I love the crimper. The crimper is, is a good fun. luck. It's Haley totally has fun. a crimper. Haley gets into like doing weird things to her hair. Uh-huh. That's fun times. Yeah. <laughs> crimping is fun. Look at me, I got this hair. So yeah, your makeup or your man, I think Katie would probably take me over the makeup. Well, I... I would hope so. But my first thought when you said that is Amanda. Amanda would definitely choose makeup over Mike. Definitely, hands down. And she just said she feels like a uh, she feels like a troll. She needs to have. Well, I mean, some she didn't on. say that. <laughs> That's what I took she... from it. <laughs> That's what you were saying, right, Amanda? I mean, I feel I definitely feel gross without it on. You feel like you're keeping goats from crossing a bridge. Yes, you're down there, and, and they're like, "Hey, I just want to cross." Like, <laughs> what? Yeah, How does that keep goats from crossing a bridge? That's what that trolls sounds, do. A that's troll. a troll's job. Oh, okay. I was lost. <laughs> a troll's job is to keep goats from crossing bridges. Oh, we all know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's is that a, some fairy tale thing. It is the three goats. Maybe you've heard it. No, you've never heard the three goats. Never even heard of the three goats. Little goat comes by and says, "Hey, I want to." It's want. the three pigs. No, three pigs is where they blow your house down. And they have a little pig, too. Oh, there's no pig in this one. This is goats. Oh. <laughs> so <laughs> the little goat comes by and he's like, hey, I want to cross your bridge. He's like, oh, you got to pay. And he's like, I don't have any money. And he's like, okay, well, then I'm going to eat you. Yeah. And the goat runs away and doesn't get to cross. And then the medium goat comes and, hey, I want to cross your goat. He's like, ah, I'm going to eat you. want to cross your goat? The goat comes. I want to cross your bridge. What did I say? Goat. <laughs> Yeah, goats don't cross goats. Goats no. cross bridges. <laughs> yes. So then uh, I want to cross. He's like, you can't cross the <laughs> exactly. You can't cross. I'm gonna eat you. Blah! And then the big one comes. Billy Goat's Gruff is what it's called. And he uh, butts him right there and, and kills the troll. And flies away <laughs> like a balloon. It's like a hot air balloon. Yeah. He kills the troll. I believe so. Hmm. That's how I remember. Does he it. headbutt it? Right. He headbutts it, and then they all get to frolic and play in the field. And then they're happy because the grass is greener on the other side. It's always greener. It's always greener. Every time. <laughs> Where were you during the writing what? of that? Is this a new thing? No, this is old. This is classic from your kiddom. My kiddom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, back when you were a kid. <laughs> your kid I don't remember that. Your childhood. You don't remember the three Billy Goats gruff. Mm-mm. You've never heard of that. Mm-mm. And a troll underneath a deal, and he doesn't let the guys go. No, I was wondering where trolls came from. Trolls come from under bridges. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only and place. Why? And then we got those crazy haired trolls. That was a while back. And then they Yeah, like, I remember Whoo. those. If yeah. you would go in your hands, their hair would get crazy. Yeah, you spin their hair all nuts, and then it's like, great. But they liked goats. They didn't keep them from going over okay. bridges. They were nice. They were the nice ones. Have we ever heard anything about the Ionia goats? We're getting those. Was that Not, Ionia? That's Ottawa County. Ottawa County. <laughs> yeah. It's the and, other, and, other side. <laughs> have, we heard, have we heard anything? Well, I knew it started with a uh, vowel. It did start with, I'll take counties that start with vowels, please. Montcom, you're out. Ken, no dice. Barian, uh-uh. uh uh-uh. Ottawa Ingham, and Iona. But they're not in our listening. Cass, area. no dice, no. Cass. Okay, so Ottawa County, goats, go. <laughs> okay, they're lousy with goats. They got them all over the place. You Wait, can't drive have they through. shipped them yet? I don't know. Hold, please. We need to find out about the Ottawa okay. County goats. Ottawa, we haven't heard. Because then we have to take a road trip. Absolutely. Well, remember we, After the show one day. we found out that they were only getting a few goats. Where but we then thought it was they gonna were going to multiply, and they were going to be a lot of goat goats. herd already hard at work in yeah! Ottawa County. This is M-Live. Why has nobody called us and told us this? This is uh, from May 30th of 2014. We're a little behind. Originally written at 2 p.m. by Darcy Morgan over at MLive, and then she updated it at 7.42 p.m. Why? Um, I, Maybe what, there hap- was an error. In her grammar. Could have been an error. Uh, probably not. Darcy does not have grammar. <laughs> no, that's, that's probably not what Maybe it was. Maybe she acquired new Dars? information. Maybe there was another goat showed up. Uh, what does it say? Uh, here we go. 12 goats donated. Did you say here we go? <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, 12 goats donated from a local farmer arrived Thursday, so that was back in May. Uh, first Ottawa County Park, already hard at work chewing up invasive species in the open area at the Eastmanville Bayou. They we need doing to go a to the Eastmanville job. Bayou. They're eating everything. Uh, they're serving as alternatives to herbicides in the summer in the park. Uh, they're munching and loving it, eating that oriental bittersweet, the uh, bush honeysuckle, and autumn olive, also poison ivy and buckthorn. It's healthy. It's a healthy diet for them. They if like it. If you eat poison ivy, 
don't you become itchy inside? Not if you're a goat. People, mm. though, yes. Unless you don't eat the itchy part. Eat the other part. I'll just stay away from Volunteers uh, from the Friends of Ottawa County Parks check on the goats every few hours. We need to get the Friends of Ottawa yes. County Parks on their radio with we us. We need Amanda. to get them on, Amanda. We need hey. we need goat talk. We just need to know what's going on with the Friends of the Ottawa Have County Parks. Have they named the goats? Uh, Don Williams would be a good place to start. He's the chair of the uh, group. He says he's already checked on the animals a few times. This is back in May again. Uh, How do you find them? What if they escape? They hardly noticed him. The goats? Yeah. Well, they're hungry. So maybe he's dressed up like a goat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I would have more I questions. I have a feeling Don would look awesome in goat gear. Yeah, you throw goat gear just... on Don Williams, the chair of the Friends of the Iowa yeah. County Parks. Yeah. You put him in a he park. He would look good. But then you take your kids, you're like, look at all these goats eating, and that one just watching them. Uh-huh, and walking on two legs. That one goat is weird, <laughs> but the other goats are good, and like regular goats. And he's like, no thanks. Uh, so what they, they have an electric fence in a shelter. Okay. So everything gets moved around. Uh, they remain, uh, they're eating all of the invasive species. That was at Eastman Bayou, Eastmanville Bayou. All they're right, probably Amanda, done. Can you get that Don guy on the air? <laughs> I can certainly or try. whomever. We just need to find Don out about the Don the goats. goat guy is what we call him. <laughs> they heard I a, wonder if they are as excited about the goats as we the are. The herd could be at Burr or Oak near Coopersville, or it could be in Riverside Park. That's where it was going next, the herd of 12 goats. We just need to drive. Aww, we need to drive to that Coopersville. That is so cute. We can see the train. We can do a lot of things. What what noise does a goat make? Bah. That's a sheep. Oh, what does a goat make? I don't know. I'm asking. Meh. Isn't it kind of like, yeah, it's kind of like that. Meh. Meh. That's a sheep. Well, actually, that's several <laughs> Yeah, that's not one sheep. <laughs> sheep with autotune. <laughs> Meh. Connie and Curtis. Connie and 926 and chill 957 and there's a big dark cloud yeah but that's all right that's just us and we're out of here in about 35 <laughs> minutes we so are the big dark cloud so don't worry about it yeah we'll be fine mm. we'll be real good i got uh, bad news for some of our favorite restaurants uh-oh consumer reports just did a uh, a survey of the favorite fast food restaurants like what we love for yeah. burgers or chicken sandwiches and subs or burritos okay okay so uh, i'll tell you the bottom four okay bottom for All burgers right. what do you think mcdonald's sad so mm. like a distant last chicken the bottom kfc burritos the bottom Taco Bell. We're liars. Wow. We're liars here. We love these things. Subway, second from last in subs. I like all those places. I like all those places, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Top Burgers is a uh, place out in California called the Habit Burger Grill. Okay. We don't even have them here. Right. But, so we have no chance to get those. So right. that is and not even fair. And all our local places, they're not even in it either, right? Uh, well, Five Guys and Smash Burger made it. Uh, Culver's Ooh, made it. I so, love Smash Burger. Uh, yeah, we got them. Uh, Steak and Shake is on there. Uh, White Castle, but you got a bit of a drive. Checkers made it. Sonic, A&W. Uh, Burger King, Jack in the Box. I don't think we have a Jack in the Box. Mm -hmm. But McDonald's at the bottom. Mm. But then Chicken, Chicken is just ridiculous. KFC like, is last. It's the last one. But uh, ahead of it is Boston Market. Like, who goes to Boston Market for chicken? You go there for, like, a meatloaf or some turkey. My uncle goes eats at Boston Market probably four times a week. For chicken? I think chicken or turkey. Oh, yeah, see, Poultry. turkey. I think turkey. Popeye's is tied with Boston Market, which Popeye's is great. Mm -hmm. But I don't know that Popeye's is better than KFC. I like KFC best. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. also like KFC best. Uh, sandwiches and subs. Uh, the best sandwich store is uh, Portillo's Hot Dogs. They're in Chicago and Auburn, Illinois. Okay. Again, we can't try those without a three-hour drive. Right. No, thank you. Firehouse Subs ranked second. We got one of those. Never been. We just went on their website. I'm going to go. It looks very good. Uh, but yes, You know what Curtis is having for lunch today? Subway is at the bottom. Um, we got Schlotzky's, um, which Panera is on there, Jimmy John's, uh, Pop Belly, which is good, Quiznos, Einstein. These are all good. did a bunch of Quiznos close. I don't know. I like across the nation or yeah, just here? I think a bunch of them closed. Arby's and Subway are the two bottom sandwich stores. You know what Amanda informed us about Arby's today? <laughs> this made me laugh out loud this morning. Which which one she is it? She passes one on her way. It's, a, it's like 44th and Eastern. Okay, 44th and what happened? Eastern. The A on the sign was no longer lit up because I drive to work in the dark. Okay. So it was just Arby's. Arby's. <laughs> now, hold on. Mm. 
don't I want some herbies. Don't talk about that on the radio because we'll get a, a nasty letter and then we'll get yelled at in the uh, lobby of our place because you're not you're just mentioning it, but they're gonna think that you're bashing them. Well, don't mention it every single day. That happened to me with Blue Cross. Blue <laughs> no, Shield. yeah, it's just this one instance. Number one burrito Chipotle, which uh, those I've are never good. had that. It's good. It's never just like a it's Chipotle. like a Qdoba or a Donks. It's the mm. exact same thing where you walk in and you get everything. I think all the Donks are closed though. The one downtown <laughs> so. here is definitely closed. Yeah, the one on Forty Fourth is closed. Yeah, what happened? I don't know. That original Taco Boy though is still open out there on Plainfield. Mmm, you get in there. Uh, what else we got? Moe's Southwest Grill. If we've had that, right? Yeah. Taco mm-hmm. John's, which Taco John's is good, but mm-hmm. I don't, don't think we have a Taco John's here. We had one in Mount Pleasant when I went to school there. And Taco Bell is the last. So the four that we love, the five, Arby's, Subway, McDonald's, KFC, and Taco Bell are the bottom of the My stomach right barrel. now is going. So good. I want some right? Arby's. <laughs> Arby's, <laughs> please. Arby's is 7.3 <laughs> on the sandwich and sub scale. I had Arby's yesterday. What do you, what'd you get? Just a roast beef? Yeah, and uh, potato cakes. Yeah, those are good. And I was you. Remember when the I told Dan to surprise me. And that's what he got you? Because usually I am always the one who's out and about doing stuff, so yes. I surprise him. You would send him on some errands gonna, yesterday, yeah. so he'd give me some lunch, too, yep. while you're out there. Mm-hmm. He surprised me. <laughs> surprised you with a home run. Yes. <laughs> good stuff I love right Irby's. there. Irby's is probably the best. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to so call him Irby's from now on. We got no chance to even try these awesome ones. Chick-fil-A. Do we have a Chick-fil-A around here? That's no. the best chicken. Uh, Chipotle we have. Uh, and we've had, I've had, you've never had, uh, Firehouse Subs. Adam, I've never had Firehouse Subs. I'm doing subs. that for lunch today, I think. Are and And, uh, yeah, Five Guys and Smashburger are delicious. What yeah. are you doing for lunch today, Amanda? I don't know. Probably You want to go to Firehouse Subs? I kind of want to. Yeah. You'll go with me? No, but you can get us some. <laughs> <laughs> Leave now. Connie and-